everybody welcome back to my youtube channel my name is wendy you are watching life being wendy thank you so much for clicking onto this video i do hope that you click the like button and you comment down below and you subscribe make sure to subscribe are a returning subscriber thank you so much for all the love i received on my first video it was absolutely epic Guys, I'm telling you and the growth was so 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 substantial. Thank you so much Thank you so much for the love and for the care and keep on doing it to me and to other youtubers out there Right, so as you can see by the title of this video. This is a get to know me tag um, Rightfully so I just started <laughs> so I have a few questions that I'm going to answer and Yeah, let's get on with it So the first question is, what is your full name? All right, this is gonna be funny. <laughs> My name is Makande Diana Maikui. Nice to meet you. <laughs> funny, funny, I always get questions on some, Kanti, where is the Wendy in your full name? Why is there no Wendy? Um, and yeah, well, that's a, that's a, I'll give you a short story about that. Um, so the reason behind that is my uncle, my um, deceased uncle, may he still rest in peace, he gave me a nickname which I will not disclose on the channel because, <laughs> but yes, if we shorten that nickname, imagine, shorten it, we come to Mawendi, so that's M-A-W-E-N-D-Y, and then, um, when we're really nicknaming it, then it's Wendy. So that's just who I've been known to be all my life, growing up, and even now. So yeah, Wendy. But my actual name is Makande Diana Makui. <laughs> what does your name mean? So I'm going to refer to my first name, which is Makande. What it means is let her grow. A lot like Luanda, Alwande, Makande, mine is Makande, right? So it's, it's it's specifically referring to me and Makande. Me, me. I must I must grow. It's Zulu. It's definitely Zulu. Because <laughs> that's another question I'm frequently asked. Are you Zulu? Are you Kosa? What 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 ethnicity is that? It's most definitely Zulu, right? So my third question is: Are you named after anyone? No, I'm not. Funny enough though, my second name, Diana, um, is, 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 is my, my mom was referring, would refer to um, Princess Diana who passed away I think a few months before I was born and so that's why she said she named me Diana. So yeah, we're, we're royalty, <laughs> Princess Diana. <laughs> Right, the following question says, does your name make any interesting anagrams? Oh, oh, I just thought of one. I hope, I hope I have the right concept of what an anagram is. Comment down below if I get it wrong. <laughs> but if we were to sort of put Zulu and English together in saying, Makande, Makande Utayan. So you see how great Princess Diana was, me. So I would assume if I were to make an anagram out of it, may her spirit, may her love, may her greatness as a whole, you know, be contained, well not contained in me, but made, made grow in me. Yeah, how'd I do? How'd I do, you? <laughs> Please tell me down in the comment section what you thought of that. Right, so the next question is, where are you from? I am from Durban, Durban, South Africa. Shout out to the 031. 
Um, the following question is where were you born? I was born in Murchison Hospital in Port Chipston. Yes, in Port Chipston, down south of Durban, which is why I think my name and surname are a lot peculiar and they're not so Zulu and they're not so common. But you know, it's good to stand out. We're not trying to always, you know, be one with the crowd. You must also just be your own thing, you know. <laughs> Um, my following question is what are your best characters? I'd rephrase this question and I'll say my favorite characters about my not characters I'm sorry characteristics about myself. What are my favorite characteristics about myself has to be uh, my level of peace and calm and happy and joy um as some of my friends would put it i live in a world full of rainbows <laughs> a world full of rainbows and daisies and unicorns and what that and it's, it, it does it does annoy me every now and again but i think to an extent they aren't right about it because i will definitely often choose peace and that is very founded in my religion right so um the following question is which of your parents are you closest to? This is a funny one. I think I'm closest to my mom. <laughs> I think I'm closest to my mom. You guys saw her in the other video. Um, but I also think I'm really a daddy's girl. <laughs> it helps being the first bird born. First born um, in the family because I'm, I'm closest relate with, a with being able to relate to both my parents. Right? So... Um, I'll understand both of them, I'll understand their reasonings, and like my younger siblings will be like, There they go again, <laughs> you know. Um, following question is, Which of your parents are you more like? Ooh, this one, this one always gets me. See, what happened was, this is what I'm always telling my friends, I look nothing physically i look nothing like both my parents if you ask me because i don't know i just i don't look like any of them and yet my, all my younger siblings they all look like my mom i don't even look like my dad <laughs> but it's fine it's okay we're not fighting anything i like to call i like to refer to it as me being god's um how do i put it me being god's trial and error yeah so god was like okay we've got these two my mom and dad right their first child eh, no not really she's not gonna look like that no their kids aren't gonna look like that but she's already here so might as well you know but yeah i don't really look like any of them personality wise same but i think i'm closest to being like my dad yeah but i'm very different <laughs> Right. Um, the following question is what relative was important to you growing up and why? My basis in Christianity. That was very important to me because I am a pastor's kid. Fun fact. <laughs> so it was surrounded in everything that I heard, everything I was surrounded by, you know, everything that influenced me had a lot to do with my religion and my, my 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 faith so yeah i think that was the most important thing to me and it was such a strong foundation to who it's such a strong foundation to who i am even today it's still building on that foundation so yeah following question is what do i call my grandparents so i call her go go um, I just have one grandparent left. Um, all the others have passed away. Um, yeah, I just have an uh, ukok. Um, what is my eye color? <laughs> I think my eye color is like a brown, a good hazel brown. <laughs> Um, what's the most important thing in your life? My family. My family is the most important thing in my life. Oh. My, no. 
no first and foremost has to be my my god and then my family follows next um what inspires you Ooh. <laughs> what inspires me are very simple things doing better being better having better just the word better as a whole because it just doesn't have a ceiling it just breaks all bounds you know um if you think that you've made it you can do better you definitely can do better in every aspect of life in every situation you can always do better um the next question is what has required the most courage of you in your life so far oh that's that one is fun that is gonna be a story time please um you almost dragged me down in the comment section to yeah i had to do i had to do something that required the most courage in my life and it's changed <laughs> it's changed my life forever <laughs> so the next question is who is your favorite celebrity do i have a favorite celebrity do i i don't know i don't think so i don't think i have a favorite celebrity um Who's your favorite person in the world? Ooh, Ingi Pile. Ingi's my favorite person in the world. What is your favorite color? Pink. Such a girly girl. <laughs> I'm such a girly girl. I love pink, absolutely. Um, yeah, not to say that I wear it all the time, but I definitely love it. Um, what is your favorite cultural activity? Dressing up. Ooh, definitely dressing up as a Zulu girl, as a Zulu maiden, as a Zulu wife. Gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. I love dressing up. I don't really practice in my, in any other um, cultural activities because, like I mentioned, I'm Christian, um, so I don't really do a lot. But uh, dressing up, you always find me there. What's your favorite food? I don't have a favorite food. I just love food. <laughs> if it is edible, bring it here. It's your favorite holiday destination by the beachside and island i'm such an island girl i'm such a waves and sand on in my feet and clear skies oh guys you know what i love about the water it's so so serene in that it, it in the way that it moves in and out yet it's just it's such a constant god is a show off I'm telling you, God was showing off there by the ocean. But yeah, that's my favorite holiday destination anywhere with the beach. Um, what is my favorite physical activity? Ooh, tricky. At the top of my head, I want to say sleep, but no, no, no. I don't know what my favorite. At the top of my head, I want to say sleep, but that's is that. I don't know i don't have one <laughs> what is your favorite time of the day yes i love this question my favorite time of the day is in the afternoon when i get to cook love it absolutely love it i'll actually share a video um where i'm cooking in the afternoon you guys will see me i i go into my element when i'm cooking i'm singing i'm dancing as if i can <laughs> as if i can dance but yo i'm telling you like i just i'm my best self when i'm in the kitchen and there's just so much creativity going on and it's just it's so beautiful it's so beautiful so that's my favorite time of the day um what's my favorite way to pass time reading <laughs> and i don't do as much of it but it's definitely to read um right now i'm reading a really really lovely book it's called i dare to call him father it is so 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 amazing um yeah following question is what was your least favorite subject in high school i didn't mind high school i mean I'm out of high school now, I'm out of varsity, so I know high school wasn't such a... I, I, I can now compare quite fairly, and I don't really mind high school, I think. What's my least favorite? 
I liked math for the challenge of like getting to know something and finally understanding it and cracking it and being like, yes, I got that. <laughs> what else? Sorry, guys, you're going to hear birds quite a lot in the background. I'm looking at one right now. They like to stand uh, on my windows, um, so and just chip away. I, that's that's another reference to me being a princess Diana because I'm literally woken up by birds every morning. It's the sweetest, cutest thing. But yeah, anyway, my least favorite subjects in high school. I think it might have been. Oof, I really can't discredit any. Oh my goodness. I just never really saw the importance and the point to it much. Yeah, maybe life orientation. Next question. Are you scared of heights? Definitely. Oh my goodness. Very scared of heights. I, if anyone were to pick me up, oh god. <laughs> oh, would not be cute. But yeah, I'm very scared of heights. The following question is are you inclined to build your own empire or unleash the potential of others this is such a nice question i think a bit of both i would not i would love i would love to use my own empire build it from scratch i would love to do that but i also don't mind seeing others win i really don't um as long as i know that you are in it you mean it you are driven and you know where you're going you know we can definitely push you to get there but i can also do that for myself i love that as well are you a dog person or a cat person i'm a person <laughs> not really much for pets but if we had to if we had to then it has to be a dog are you a fan of any sports team no I'm not not to say I won't watch sports I'll watch it you can explain it to me but I'm not like a number one diehard fan <laughs> ah, if you had more courage what would you do differently in your life now I've been thinking about this a lot and I think I would be more aggressive in my approach to things I think I'm very calm about how I, I, I go about things, how I do things, because why? Why do I do that? I don't know if it's whether I don't trust myself enough, but I just, I'm not as loud, really, as I would want to be. So if I want something, I won't really go out and get it. I will sort of lure it in, see if it'll you know nudge or go in my come in my direction and if it doesn't then it's like okay well i tried <laughs> but in actual fact i really i really do think that i have the power to go for anything i want All right okay let's like i don't know there's so many questions um i should have like narrowed it down um the next question is if you could eliminate one weakness or limitation in your life what would it be i want to say time i want to say time time i don't want to think of time as a limitation but it definitely is a weakness of mine in the sense that i fail to keep up with it right um in in accordance to deadlines in accordance to moving in a pace that i approve of if i can put it in that matter oh, you guys get this english is uh, not a mother tongue um i i just even in the way that i delayed um posting this video i'm so sorry guys really i am um what had happened was what happened was i had so many things disrupting me throughout the weeks um so I won't even call it reasons I'll call them excuses because I think I could have shot a video you know it doesn't take that long um, 
but yes i definitely took my time with it i i took my time to want to perfect some things you know and just get them so right so yeah yeah time um let's have five more questions the last five questions do you remember your dreams so i tend to recall them if they were meaningful if i can put it in that manner um when you have a dream and it was different or it stands out to other dreams then it's like i'll wake up the following morning and i'll be like what was that oh why what why did that happen what did that mean you know so yeah i do sometimes and other times i won't dream anything at all and then other times i'll dream of something and then i'll just be like i don't know i don't know what happened right so do you prefer that people shoot straight with you or do you prefer that people shoot straight with you or temper their words why quite interesting this question i think i prefer people to be straight up with me tell me as it is tell me um as bitter as it comes as bitter as it gets um yeah yeah and don't try to beat around the bush i think the reason why is because i tend to beat around the bush and i don't know i don't think that those two things go together i can't be beating around the bush and then you beat around the bush and both of us are just like tiptoeing around it's like no let one person be straightforward about it let me be the easy one <laughs> um do you prefer titanic or the notebook the notebook because it has a happy ending because they both they both die in each other's arms i'm sorry if that's a spoiler for anyone but y'all everybody should know these this is my favorite genre of movies um romantic comedies well there wasn't really a comedy but romance but yeah definitely the notebook Okay, so I think we have what two more? I'm not sure. Um, do you have a garden? I do. It's a very small garden though. Um it's like in the yard, you know, there's things planted everywhere. There's few hedges, there's an aloe plant, um, there's a an avocado tree, there's yeah, yeah, but I don't really look after that garden so well last question do you have a whole lot of acquaintances or just few very close friends why yeah i think this is a very nice way to end it i have acquaintances i have a whole lot of acquaintances yes but i do also have a lot of friends i'm a very friendly person from very young in my life from very very young in my life i have always been drawn to people so this whole quarantine social distancing go out only when you need to thing that we've been in um, this whole pandemic has been pretty hard on me and friendships but um, I'm learning I'm learning to sort of control I'm learning to control my friendship groups and um, yeah yeah but i have a lot of acquaintances which i whom i love i love them so much um and and my friends and i have best friends and i have sister friends and you know i'm just i'm surrounded by so many people and so much love around me um i know i have i have friends from primary school that i'm still good with i have friends from when i grew up as a baby you know um, I have friends from there, from then, and right all throughout to this year, where I make, I'm still making new friends and new acquaintances. I just, I don't shy away from that, and it's been beautiful, man. It's been beautiful. Yeah. So thank you very much for getting to the end of the video. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up um, if you liked it, and comment down below. Um, what you'd like to see me do next. I have a lot of ideas 
a lot of ideas on what I'll be doing next but uh, yeah I hope that this helped in getting to know me a little bit um, obviously as we go furthermore on our YouTube journey yes I said our because we're doing this thing together okay um, yeah you're going to get to know more of me and I also get to know more of you guys so please be sure to connect with me also on my other social media um, on Twitter it's at being Wendy and on Instagram it's being Wendy yeah yeah both Twitter and Instagram <laughs> both Twitter and Instagram at being Wendy and yeah thank you so much for watching this video I hope you have a pleasant day and all right I'll see you in the next video bye